everybody else in my household at Corinth, they are Argentina fans. Well, I respect Messi. Yes, Messi is unquestionably one of the best footballers in the world. But I mean, nothing can compare to the Brazilian style of football. Football fever, tell me about your household. All right. Right now, for me, my team is Brazil, but I am carrying also Argentina because I'm a Messi fan. So I really like a Messi to get a World Cup, but foundation, I'm a Brazilian fan. So your wife is saying My what? wife is German. My wife says Germany. And when, on Monday, she was <laughs> mouthing me and you know, all about that, about um, that um, Argentina lost. But now it's going to be my day. All right, because when I go home, I'm going to ensure that I give her the same treatment that she gave me on Monday. All right, because of Argentina. So talk about the rivalry. rivalry. Husband and wife. Oh, yeah. I, well, know, I know you're not taking it the next direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell yeah. me some of the fun vibes, some of the pranks, whatever. Well, you know, it's most of the time it's just mounting and then uh, mounting and then uh, most of the time, like, some of the time it's going to be like on the WhatsApp, she, she'll be testing messages and so forth. Because even on Monday, she tell her, oh, um, um, the other, uh, what the team there? The other team that beat Argentina. Saudi. Saudi Arabia. They said that they, they, um, they, they cooked the goat or something like that. So, you know, so it was a lot of rivalry and like a fun thing in it. So, you know, it's really nice. I like this, this work. It's really good, you know. The verbal um, rivalry will be there at all times, but you know, we love each other. So, there's nothing that going to separate us per se. But, you know, the verbal thing and support, that is going to happen. You think Argentina is going to win it? Yes, I really believe this one, this World Cup here is set out for Argentina, even though they lost their first match. But I think this World Cup is Argentina's one. I'm a Brazilian supporter. I've been supporting Brazil since 2002. Um, yeah, from a very tender age. But I'm the only Brazilian supporter. When you supporter. said tender age, how old were you then? Uh, I was just six. <laughs> but I mean, I love, I was a footballer then from that time. So, and I love the Brazilian style of football, Hoga Bonita for life. Um, from Ronaldinho days. As a matter of fact, they used to call me Ronaldinho because of the, the flash, the hair and the flashy play that I had when I was playing, when I was slim <laughs> back then. Um, but yeah, everybody else in my household at Corinth, they are Argentina fans. Well, I respect Messi. Yes, Messi is unquestionably one of the best footballers in the world. But I mean, nothing can compare to the Brazilian style of football. Um, but so when just, you say everybody, how many people in your also are Argentinians? About five. <laughs> I'm the only Brazilian, so yeah. I mean, everybody else is Argentina, Argentina. But so I'm tell me only. about some of the vibes in the house. Um, well, there, there, there's no vibes at current. You know why? Because Argentina lost their first match. <laughs> so, so were you, so, were you um, sensitive? Uh, well, um, not really. <laughs> I was just telling them that, hey, the World Cup will start this Thursday when Brazil really plays some um, serious football. But, I mean, I respect them. Um, but otherwise, it's it kind of friendly. But, I mean, you know, the internal part of it, um, you know, some of them, they get a little jittery whenever you start talking about your Brazil and, and stuff. And, and the mere fact that they don't even know much about Argentina, they're not true fans. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm the real footballer in the house. Um, but you know, most more one of the things that really came out though was the fact that uh, one of the students, one of the, the, the children in the house, actually woke up from four o'clock in the morning. Is the earliest he ever wake up? How old? <laughs> He's sixteen, um, and he he actually woke up from four o'clock, bed and got ready before school. It's the first time he ever wake up just to watch the Argentina match and he get the disappointment of his life. He got to school late. Can you imagine? <laughs> So, yeah, it, it is It is what it is. I mean, they didn't even eat any lunch at school when he got here. Um, when he went home, he didn't even He was so eat depressed? That was, that was a depression, a level of depression. And he wasn't the only one. About two other persons in the household, the same thing. They and of course, the wolf eat. down the extra food. Uh, no, man, I know me. <laughs> <laughs> I know me. I didn't do that. <laughs>